hello beautiful people welcome to my channel hope you guys are doing fantastic so today's video is going to be a perfume collection video i haven't done this in a very long time and i thought like i would share with you guys what's in my collection so before i get into the whole collection i want to show you guys this beautiful pieces of jewelry that i'm wearing these beautiful pearl earrings and these necklaces these are from Ana Luisa the main reason that made me collaborate with them again it's because of how good quality long-lasting their pieces are just the feel of the jewelry feels so smooth and the look of it is good quality you guys these pieces are made from the best noble meters and they're also tarnished free which is amazing Ana Luisa is also the first direct-to-consumer jewelry brand to ever go carbon neutral starting from their sourcing of raw materials the disposal of their pieces this just shows how much they care for the environment while giving us the best quality pieces. Their prices are also very fair, starting from $39 to high end, pretty much affordable for everyone. So head over to their site. I'll put their link down in my description box. Make sure you check that out. They have some awesome discounts going on right now. So you can get yourself some coins slashed off and also you can style this jewelry on anything you go on anything pretty much like they have styled it right now on an open bear neck it can be on a polo neck it just goes well they have variety to choose from these are awesome gifts be it for your mom your sister your friend so head over to their site and get yourself some awesome pieces now moving on to my perfume collection so what i'm going to show you it's in no particular order some of them i have repurchased them some of them is my first time trying them so i'm going to show you guys what i have and yeah when it comes to perfume it can be like my favorite perfume can be somebody else's worst smell ever so with me i'm just showing you guys what i have so let's get right into the collection the first one i'm going to show you is this one this is la nude tresson by lancome so with this perfume it was kind of like a blind purchase for me because of just the way the packaging is it's so attractive very fashionable so the way the diamond shaped is and with this black satin just makes it so attractive and very beautiful the scent as well is so beautiful you guys it has that fruity vanilla caramel smell to it which is just amazing i love sweet perfume and this is just it it also has that mild coffee to read but it's just mild and a little bit of spice but it's more sweet which is so good and i feel that this perfume is more of a feminine perfume for me i think it's just more feminine and it can also be girlish or mature, whichever way. I think both go. And then this one is also perfect for the winter. And I feel like it's a beautiful, sexy nighttime perfume. I feel like just a little bit of spray goes a long way because it lasts long. It lasts really, really long. For the price for this, I feel the price was also affordable for the quality of the perfume that is in there. But just spray a little bit and it goes a long way. The next one I have is this Versace Bright Crystal. So what attracted me to this perfume was the scent, you guys. This has that beautiful scent to read. Like it's just that summer, spring vibe to read. So when I smelled this, I was like, I need to get this perfume. So with this one, the packaging itself, for me, I feel it's okay. Nothing unique except that the top is pretty much the same size as the bottle itself so this one i got in uh this one is 50 milliliters so with this one the scent just brought that summer spring vibe in this dark cold winter for me and i love it it has that aquatic citrus floral smell to it which is just amazing so i feel this one is perfect for like spring and summer because it has that sunny fresh aquatic smell to it and i feel like it's also a girly perfume but i love this one in this dark cold winter this just makes me feel so happy and really you know just give me that spring vibe in this dark winter so this one does not last long you guys and just to compare the price for this and the duration for it no it does not go you guys this is so expensive it's an expensive perfume the smell is amazing i love it oh my god you guys this perfume just screams goddess queen all over it's like a delicate jewelry around a woman's necklace so this one is jadot by dior this is also one of my favorite perfumes and whenever i want to feel classy queen goddess you know boss woman and stuff i always go for this one this is my go-to perfume the smell for this one oh my god it's so beautiful it has that floral 
fresh fruity smell to it which is just amazing like it blends really well the scent is not that strong you know like a punch strong it's just so mild and soft and i feel definitely definitely this one is more of a mature scent it's perfect for nighttime as well i think even daytime but i feel nighttime as well it's pretty good and definitely in the not really so hot season but when it's like chilled and not too very hot i feel like it blends well when it's like cold and like this time winter it's perfect as well this one is definitely a feminine perfume for me and more of a mature one the price for this it was pricey it's very expensive but believe me you i'll tell you this perfume goes a long way the duration is last for a long time and the quality of it just the smell the worth of it is really worth it like the price and the quality the what they put in making this perfume it's so rich and i feel it's worth its price so the next one is c by Giorgio Armani. so with this perfume the packaging itself is it's okay it's beautiful it's just typical typical bottle except the top of the bottle the lid is pretty much different i guess that their signature so with this perfume it has that hoodie vanilla fruity spicy smell to it and i feel this one is more of like a sexy nighttime perfume and more of like a mature perfume for me i feel it can be both girlish as well but it's more of like a sexy mature perfume and i feel it can be both feminine and you know like also for male as well but i feel it's more feminine as i said and then with this one it's not one of my favorite in my collection it has a perfect smell the smell is okay because maybe i'm just more of like a sweet perfume smell girl but this one also had it has it but it's very very mild so with this one it does last long but not very very long like the other perfume i showed you so with this one it does last long but for this price and the quality of perfume i think it's worth its price it's a very popular perfume by the way it's very popular perfume and like i said when it comes to perfume it can be different for different people you can be this can be your favorite for me it's not really my favorite and I feel the reason I say it's more of a nighttime perfume, I feel it complements well in the cold season as well and nighttime because of it just feeling like a sexy perfume. And like when it's too hot, I feel like it cannot complement well with the heat. So for me, I would suggest you wear this like nighttime. The next one is this Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Oh my God, you guys, I love this perfume. I keep repurchasing it all the time. As you can see, we are almost done and I repurchased it. I did show it in my previous video. So with the packaging, there's nothing drastic about it. It's just classy, beautiful, clear, rich bottle just makes it oh my god so attractive i love this perfume so much so when it comes to the smell for this one oh my god it has that fruity that citrus fruit rose warm spice vanilla smell to it it's just amazing with this bottle i think just a little spray goes a long way it lasts long it lasts so long and i feel like if you just use a little bit it goes a long way don't over spray because it will be too much so just a little bit and this one i feel it's more of a mature perfume for me a feminine mature perfume and it's also perfect i think for it can be daytime night perfume but it's more of that fresh clean you know mature rich woman night sexy perfume for me so i would really use it i really use it like in the night time and as you can see we are almost getting done i need to repurchase this so whenever i use this i always just feel that mature sexy you know rich woman so this perfume i feel the price for this was also pretty much uh it's worth the perfume itself it's expensive but i feel the quality of the perfume the duration of the perfume it's worth its price this perfume is also one of my favorite in my collection i keep repurchasing it over and over again this one is the ysl black opium you guys just the package itself gives you that rock glam beautiful expensive look and it's very attractive this also just I love this perfume so much i keep repurchasing it over and over again when it comes to the smell it has that oh my god i love sweet perfume i'm a sweet perfume girl and i love sweet perfume so this one has that coffee vanilla 
smell to it they are blended so well together which is not like the coffee is not too strong and the vanilla is not too strong it's just a perfect blend which just makes it so so beautiful oh my god this perfume just keeps me calm it keeps me calm whenever i wear it i feel so comforted and i feel so calm i feel so glam and sexy too so for me this one the duration and the price for this worth it it's totally totally worth it the price it's pricey yeah but the duration for this and the quality of it i feel it's it's worth it so this one is long lasting and i feel it's more of like a mature girlish side and i also feel like it's perfect for the night time and it's a sexy perfume but i honestly wear this perfume anytime be it daytime be it in the summer in the winter but i feel like in the winter it blends really well and with this one as well i would say just a little spray goes a long way it lasts long and i think on most of my clothes it's still there the scent is still there this perfume i will always keep repurchasing it i did show it in my previous video as well I think I had a small one that time, but I got the bigger one this time and I love this perfume. The next one is Moon Paris by YSL. So with this perfume, I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with it. It's a beautiful perfume. I love it. But at some point, I get to despise it again. So the packaging is okay. This beautiful gold YSL tag around the ribbon is amazing. It's beautiful. And the scent, it has that fresh, fruity smell to it, which is... Okay, I love sweet perfume, but I feel like that strawberry is so strong for me. At times I do like it, at times I'm like, oh, this is too much. But the price for this, I had to check the price for this and the duration of the perfume, I think it's worth it as well. And I think it's more perfect for daytime, summer, spring perfume. I use it mostly just on simple errands and stuff. Like I said, I don't really use it like on special occasion night out. I use the others and stuff, but as you can see, it's almost ending. So which means I use it a lot. Even if I don't like it like so much, I just use it like, okay, I need perfume. Let me just spray around and I use this one. So this one, yeah. And I feel like it's more of a girlish perfume and more feminine as, as well. And also spring, summer, spring summer vibe bye. so what do you guys think of my collection was there any which is your favorite you can let me know down in the comment section below thank you for watching don't forget to check out Ana Luisa for their beautiful jewelry pieces I've put their link down in my description box they have awesome discounts going on check out their link thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up the video as well if you like it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye